Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I've been absent for a little bit, but I was on vacation. But today we're back onto the grind. Now, if you've been a long time subscriber to the channel, you know that I talk about all things Tesla. Sometimes the great stuff, sometimes the not so great stuff. And that's the subject of today's video. Just a little bit of history here. When I first got my Model X, I had a problem with the front drive unit in the sense that it would shudder under hard acceleration. Now, after reading online, I figured out that this was a common issue for a lot of cars, but being the proactive person that I am, I actually took it into Tesla service and had it documented should there be a, an engineering fix or something like that that came down the pike that at least I was covered even out of warranty. Just being safe, you know? Anyways, at the time they said there was no fix, we'll contact you if it does happen. Our good friend Bjorn Nyland, for example, had the same problems on his Model X. He's had it in several times and I don't know what the latest issue is, uh, whether it's been fixed or not. But lo and behold, I have a service friend of mine at Tesla who sent me the latest service bulletin and I'm going to read you some salient points from it. Uh, just so you understand what is going on, and I will demonstrate here when we get on the road. So, the service bulletin is 19-39-001. There was a previous one. This one supersedes it. It's dated June 25th, 2019. Here's the condition. It says, older versions of the Model S and Model X left-hand front drive unit clevis mount contains a bushing that allows the front drive unit to move side to side more than expected during hard accelerations, resulting in excessive vibrations coming from the drive unit during hard acceleration. Here's the correction. Uh, an updated left-hand dr uh, front drive unit clavis mount uh, with an improved bushing is available, which mitigates the condition. If the condition is present, update the left-hand front drive unit clavis mount and replace both front drive unit half shafts. Those are the drive shafts that come out of the motor and go out to the wheels. Um, this is interesting. I didn't know about the clevis part. I knew about the half shaft thing. That's the thing that uh, Bjorn has had at least changed twice. I thought that the car being higher up off the ground um, with uh, air suspension that the acute angle of the half shafts and you know the angle of the knuckles was causing the grinding that still may be the case I'm not too sure whether they've added some bushings to those or not but anyways it's part of the fix so we're gonna take the car into Tesla today we're gonna have it looked after and uh, I'll report back my findings but first I want to show you exactly uh, what the sound is hopefully the camera here will capture it so you understand exactly what I'm talking about let's go for a drive So I normally keep the car on standard height and I have the uh, speed set to about 80 or 90 kilometers an hour will we'll drop down to low. Now the sound doesn't normally exhibit itself quite as pronounced when I set it on low. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to do a hard acceleration um, on standard height so that hopefully you can hear it. Okay, here we go. Ah, it didn't do it. The roads are a little slippery today. I think that's what the problem is. The traction control is trying to kick in and uh, it's not exhibiting the problem. But trust me, it's there. Uh, I've had it uh, happen several times. So anyway, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I figured, you know what, the car's still under warranty. I'm gonna take it in, get it looked after so that at least I'm protected uh, for the remainders of the years for this car. Tesla Lawrence in Toronto. All right, Tesla just gave me a loaner. Tesla service here, by the way, has always been excellent, but it's kind of hit or miss when it comes to loaners. Well, they totally redeemed themselves this time because they gave me, haha, <laughs> they gave me a Model S to use for the day. They need the car. Uh, to do the service, so they said that I'll have it back. And uh, so here's here's the Model S. Let me show you the uh, Model S I got as a loaner. Yeah, this is the car right here. So it's a, uh, I, I don't even know what it is. So it's Midnight Silver, uh, you know, AP1 car, that's fine. Tan leather interior. I'm sure this is a used car. They just use, use these loaners. Yeah, it's uh, an 85D, that's fine. I'll use this for the day. So uh, anyways, let's get in, go home and uh, I'll, uh, fill you in on what happened tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> check it out. It has a yacht floor. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. All the new cars have the center console. A lot of people really like the uh, 
the yacht floor, but there you go. That's what they used to look like. Hey, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell icon so you get notified as soon as our videos are released. And for more content, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and don't forget to join our free forum at teslaownersonline.com. Hey everyone, it's the next day. I finally got White Knight back. Uh, actually, the car was ready yesterday, but Tesla called me too late in the day for me to um, be able to pick it up. So I went and took the loaner back this morning. I have White Knight and uh, the retrofit has been supposedly done and fixed. So today we're going to uh, go around on this uh, not too busy street. And I'm going to do a little acceleration run and we'll see if the problem's gone away. I have a pretty good feeling they finally fixed it. All right, so the suspension set on standard, which is the place where it's most noticeable. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, nice. Silky smooth. No more shutter, it's gone. That's awesome. All right, one more time. Oh, it's silky smooth. This is the way the car should have been right from the beginning. Now why it took Tesla a year to find a fix for this is beyond me, but I sure hope that everybody who uh, who has a car that might have been manufactured during that time frame I mentioned a little early in the video. If you haven't done this and you experience the problem, call Tesla, make an appointment. This fixes the problem, it's awesome, finally. Oh, wow, why it took him a year? I, I don't know, but anyways. Um, oh, the other thing too is I hope that, uh, of course, they've put this retrofit in typical Tesla fashion, um, this modification or change is likely already in production on newer cars. So if you have a, a, a Model S or an X on order, or you've got something maybe since, uh, well, I'm gonna assume maybe June or July, uh, you should be okay. So anyways, highly recommend it. This seems to fix the problem. If anything changes, I'll keep you up to date, but uh, silence means uh, that everything is good. So anyways, thanks Tesla for doing this. Totally awesome. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. See you guys.